Alright, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Legendary Iron Man, and that is the Army of Two run, where we are going to reduce our squad size to two. My name is Saiken, and I am trying to do this impossible feat, just uh, because I feel the limits of XCOM need to be pushed yet a little bit more. Uh, we are looking at uh, Operation Doomstrike, which is a cover recover the Resistance Operative mission, I am debating with myself whether or not I want to do the mission, and the reason is quite simple. Uh, the mission doesn't have an exit, so you can't evac. If you take a look at our current available soldiers, most of them are either wounded or uncovered ops missions. Uh, we only have Edgar Alien Poe and kind of a couple of squaddies uh, for, um, uh, for our disposal. And I think that's really not enough to do the mission, to be honest. So. Um, it sucks, and I really, really, really do not appreciate it, but I am somewhat unsure if we can actually do it. So instead, let's get some supplies. With the mission, uh, with the, with Ignoring the mission, we would probably be in the situation that we're leaving, uh, that we're going to lose North Africa. Let's see if Dragonova has recovered. She's still lightly wounded, so as long as that doesn't change, we can't really do the mission. With Dragonova, maybe. You need to be careful. Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. <laughs> Interesting. Established contact with the local resistance forces in this region. We can make a move. Look at that, our opportunity just has passed, so local resistance forces in this region have gone into hiding after the recent setback, Commander. We'll have to wait for them to regroup before we can try to make contact again. Well, we lost North Africa. But good uh, job, we at least um, got Zirkin promoted. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. Alright, finally the Templars. And with the Templars there is a lot that we would get. Resources, 15%, that's good. Plus two Avenger power, that's not so good. Let's take a look, what else do we have? Oh! So we got health, 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 aim, willpower, health, willpower, and we got a promotion. I love it. The idea alone to have a promotion and reduce the avatar pro, uh, progress that sounds very, very tempting to me. Zirkin, let's promote him. Yes, please. Lieutenant Zirkin. That sounds good. Do a nice little bond uh, with Ranman here. Yes, please. So the two of them will continue to do covered ops missions together. That's cool. I love it. Resistance ring. Reduce avatar progress. Yes, please. We continue to promote Zirkim. We're adding Ranvan. The two have some excellent equipment, which I like. And let's make sure that they are not being captured. There is a moderate chance for an ambush, but that's okay. Soldier wounded. Uh, would be not optimal, but I could live with it because the reduction of the Avatar um, uh, uh, project itself is worth it and the promotion certainly is worth it. So let's begin the action here. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Good. As a price to pay, we lost contact with North Africa, so we're going to re-establish that. Attempting to establish 
establish local regional contacts. Oh, and look at that. A couple of new missions. Number one, moderate Corporal Peter Visser, a specialist. Destroy the alien relay. Well, that could be actually done. That could be done. And here we would look at Intel. Hmm, that's a tough, tough question. You know, I mean, the Corporal would be okay, I suppose. Um, we do have Roby as a Corporal so far. I think the destroying the alien relay uh, activity is easier. The field commander prob well, it depends. The field commander could also be easy uh, because we don't have a timer. And with Dragonova back in uh, business, that isn't too bad. We have advanced intel on the mission side. And we'll be able to observe all enemy movements. That's cool. And the lost are known to be present in this area. That's cool as well. So with the lost a side trip here, that means also additional experience for us. Gosh, I think we're going to do this here. Both look doable, but we don't need the specialist. We already have Roby and yeah, I mean, of course, you could always have another one, I suppose. If it would be any rank higher than Corporal, I would probably go for it. But a Corporal, ah, it's okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. 75 Intel is better because we just spent all of our Intel getting back North Africa. And I would take a wild guess that we're going to lose, uh, with the next terror mission, we're going to lose another country again. So might as well go for it, right? So we got Edgar Alien Poe and uh, Outrider, which is our go-to team. That's fine. I think the two will make an excellent couple here. Question is, do we have the right equipment? I mean, we don't have many choices, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess we have the right equipment. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Um, if anything, we might be able to pull off this mission. If we fail this mission, it's going to look even worse, because that could mean we're losing yet another country. And second point to consider, um, we need a couple of successful missions in order to get resources. Without Intel, it's really not that much that we can do. Maybe we can grab some experience, because with a loss, we might be able to grind our way up. And maybe we can even uh, use the loss to our advantage, because as long as we're... Well, maybe not. Because the loss will also... So my idea was maybe we can use the loss to our advantage because uh, the loss would be able to attack them. That's cool. The problem is once the loss attacks someone, they uh, the pack is considered uh, quote unquote activated or pulled. And normally, as soon as the first pack is activated, the time of the mission star uh, starts. So that would actually suck. Uh, we have a lot of packs of twos. Interestingly enough. And this here looks like the field commander, 14 hit points. Sends next to a car, which might or might not be remote startable. If it would, that would be great.
12 damage and killing both of them. And that will not even uh, begin. Uh, let the timer begin. So yeah, I think that's a reasonable start. I think with Edgar Alien Poe, what we're going to do is we're really going to take the high ground here. And help killing the help killing the um, the commander good so we can see that every enemy troop is going to move a little bit but that's cool uh, we got some more explosives to go we just eliminated two thanks to Dragonova good good job man We know that the losses are now taking their turn, and that's cool as well. One more turn, and we can remote start yet again. Certainly over here would be a great way to remote start. And I'm not sure if this here is remote startable, but uh, there is opportunity. This uh, guy certainly, I can get there. the field commander certainly offers an opportunity as well. So moving in aggressively, Dragonova has nothing to fear. Galen Poe gets into a better position. We just need to make sure that he's not being spotted out, or Dragonova for that uh, uh, for that reason. Yeah, stand next to the car. I think that's a good idea, guys. Don't move too far away from the car. I think that's a bad idea. And yes, please move back to the car. That's an excellent idea. Interestingly enough, you can see that the loss themselves are not um, being triggered as long as you don't uh, as long as you don't uh, see the advents and the loss at the same time. Uh, they seem to ignore one another. All right, let's move up to here, mainly because I want to have a chance killing the um, the commander first. Go back to the car. Stop, stop. Uh, that's probably a bit far away well now he's officially triggered I'm not sure if that means his timer starts So far, I haven't seen a single timer. I will go. Dragonova is... oh yeah, perfect. Well, not close enough. Um, if she could be a bit closer, I suppose that would be an optimal position. I think we can 
just wait for now because the field commander is going to be swarmed. That's pretty much what we want. Putting ourselves here. Gets us into a really good position. Can you hit the commander? Yes, thank you. I guess that was necessary. And now they surround him. Finally. Ah, uh, that's not good enough. I would want to kill both of them, having the chance to do so. So we're just going to Overwatch for now. Time's on our side. I haven't seen a timer start uh, to, uh, starting yet. This guy really just tries his very best to not die at the moment. That's cool. I think on the other hand, he just exposed himself quite liberally. Unless, of course, he's going to kill every single one of them. Which he isn't. Maybe I'm missing something, but I mean, even for for loss, uh, they are really, really slow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's continue and see how the storyline unfolds, shall we? Again. No timer so far. Those guys are just running from left to right. And the commander made the critical mistake of dealing minimum damage. There we go. We're slowly but surely wiggling him down. Continue to overwatch for now. Finally, he got him down. Oh, but that was a mistake. All right, it's been hit for another two. Slowly but surely, they are getting him. Not sure if uh, they are standing next to something which is uh, targetable for remote start. The answer is clearly no, but we're just going to wait here. For now, we're fine. <laughs> Interesting enough. Uh, those two are starting to fight now as well. That's good. I think next turn we might want to deal with the commander just 
to get him off uh, the plate and everything else then is without a timer, so we should be fine. Gosh, I wish we could do another remote start. Maybe I was too greedy by not killing off uh, the stun lancer when I had the chance to do so. Yeah, that didn't really go as expected for the Stun Lancer. I think the Stun Lancer might even die. It's interesting how they swarm the Stun Lancer and how they fail to do the same with uh, the Captain. Stun Lancer is in a really bad shape. Yeah, we're still visible from uh, the position of the Stun Lancer. We're going to change that. I really want to make sure. Well, Never mind, because we are not going to be detected just by putting the claymore here. Right. Probably should have killed the um, the captain right away. It's really stupid um, of the sound lancer to use his melee attack because even and I know that because I have played with uh, Stun Lancer um, myself uh, when uh, in the four-man uh, run. So even if you were to hit, uh, you still wouldn't get the reset, which pretty much sucks. Because you want to get the reset, right? You want to get the free headshot, and that only triggers with uh, gun attacks. No, none of these fields would help us to get there. That's a bummer, but he's burning. He should die next turn. Says I am to obey. And I want the loot, because it would be the first loot that we would have gotten. Yeah, kill the field command that just happened. Good. Declare the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Okay. 
Let's get some loot, shall we? Nice, a repeater is good. Very solid loot. A couple of remote start options. None of uh, them are required at the moment. Those guys are following um, the field commander. Let's wait until they get, they effectively get somewhere where I can use uh, remote start. Again, for now, nothing to be concerned about. Dragonova moves into a better position. High ground always helps, specifically if you want to remote start stuff. Let's see what the AI decides to do. So interesting position that the AI has chosen. Fortunately not in range of any of our uh, remote starts, which means I am simply going to move back and block their ability to move up. They should see cover behind a car. That's usually what they are doing. Huh. I love it when I predict it right. That's a beautiful 12 points of damage remote start. Thank you, Dragonova, for this awesome skill. Much, much appreciated. So far, it appears to me as if Dragonova would be soloing this entire mission. And we're going to get a better line of sight and uh, take advantage of the fact that we do have long watch or should I rather say squad sight because that poor guy will not know where we are shooting from. Reload, overwatch. It's currently standing there in cover. It's just a matter of uh, time. If I don't need to work with a timer, all of this here is easy peasy. I mean, at no point in the entire mission, just for for reference, at no point in the entire mission were we in any danger of either losing the mission or uh, being at least shot at. We will have zero shots against us and we will have killed every single enemy. Yes, 26% is not the highest. Um, it's actually a Pretty low percent chance. But I got to take uh, every single bit that I can on this run. 
it's unfair enough as it is. Should probably install a stock here so that he at least deals one point of damage. Flawless, killed 19 enemies. I mean, we didn't kill all of the enemies, but enemies have been killed. Yeah, and the team uh, Dragonova plus Sniper works uh, surprisingly well. Most under fire, no one. And Dragonova really, really hit home with her remote starts. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet there's could have probably on the trigger. Could have probably dealt more um, killed more of the losses. But we got a repeater. That's good. Couple of corpses, that's helpful as well. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement. And in our training center, we can now improve the soldiers' bond of both of them. Which we're going to do. Because why not? Let's take a look at our Templar. So our Templar would have Reaper, which is pretty good. Face off, uh, which is so and so. I don't mince words when it comes to aliens, and the skirmishers are no different. I think we're going to start with Bladestorm and Fortress. By the way, these two are essential. Reaper, I can explain why it's great on the Templar, but at the same time, uh, quite limiting. So we, we might as well, I'm not sure if we want to take it on him. Uh, and I will explain why that is later in, in the run. Lightning Hands, yep, definitely. Uh, even Quick Draw can be considered. Sustain, yep, I can see that. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's awesome. Because that it means a lot of special abilities. So boy oh boy. Magister Anderson hopefully doesn't die because he's going to be an MVP of this run. We need to start training him quite a bit going forward together with Roby. Anyhow. So we successfully... Oh, Black Market. That's actually quite good. Uh, let's still make contact, then get to the black market. Got 82 intel, that's good. Love it. <laughs> okay, that's not so good. Uh, the powerful aliens effectively make it really, really difficult for us to invade a facility. Uh, that sucks a bit. Let's search for the black market, and I think the month is almost over, which is a real problem for us. Well, it's not almost over, another 11 days. Um, so I wanted to say it's a real problem for us because um, we still are looking for magnetic weapons, and we really need to get them as soon as possible. Our damage output is by far too low. So we didn't want to sell too many trooper corpses, we need them for research. Sectored corpses, we need a couple of them for research, but that's pretty much it. 
workers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. Let's see what we can buy. Together in the field, their effectiveness will only grow. Sharpshooter would be okay, but we really don't need a corporal. We need higher. Um, agility is okay. Conditioning is also okay with additional hit points. But I was looking more for uh, extra movement speed. That might be what we need at the moment. We don't have enough... Um, Intel to just buy random stuff. We need to be very selective. Yeah, unfortunately, not the right uh, things that we've gotten. Avenger plotting new course. Got our level two bond with our sniper and Dragonova. Yeah, and that might as well be the next uh, the next chance to lose North Africa. <laughs> that is, it sucks so much. All right, so second uh, second retaliation uh, usually has faceless ones. It doesn't have the berserker yet. That happens with the third one. Um, oh, yeah, it has robots. So we're going to see advent plus max. Yeah, we don't have much again, uh, much against Max. Let me think that through. We cannot not do the uh, it, um, and maybe we're just getting some experience out of it. I'm probably going to field the Templar just to give him some experience, and if he dies, we can replace him with a higher level Templar. Uh, he has six slots, which is great, but levels are more important at the moment than quote unquote the perfect slots for uh, for any of our operators. We're going to look into this uh, in our next mission, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and uh, a like if you haven't subscribed yet. It's a great opportunity. I'm uploading videos regularly. And uh, if you enjoy XCOM 2, this is definitely the channel to go. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.